If you speak or are learning a foreign language, it can be difficult to progress without full cultural immersion. But no worries, stay tuned for some simple ways to improve your language skills without travel abroad. My hands down all time favorite way to learn languages without travel is through music. Because it's just fun. If you don't feel like sitting down and studying, just crank up a song in the language you're learning. And as far as I'm concerned, you get an A+. On top of that, decoding lyrics can help you learn about accents, current events, and cultural references. Not to mention making language a part of your everyday life. Another way to practice languages without travel is to get a language exchange buddy. There are plenty of free language exchange websites and apps that you can find one that works well for you and choose a language buddy who speaks a language that you want to learn and who wants to learn a language that you already speak. And then there's just a good old talking to yourself. I don't know about you, but I have this voice in my head that's always running and it can be nice to just switch it to a different language. This helps me be mindful of my thoughts because I actually have to think about what I'm saying and it gives me language practice, which I might as well do because I'm talking to myself anyways. If you've already traveled and learned a language abroad, call up your old buddies, acquaintances, bosses, officers of the law, etc. and chat them up. See how they're doing. Let them laugh at you for how bad your language skills have gotten, but nonetheless, practice. One thing I love to do is to label household items like furniture, foods, even labeling the days of the week on your calendar is great. Another way to practice is to volunteer or get a job for an organization that needs multilingual speakers. Reading in a different language is also great. You can mix it up with books, newspaper articles, and blogs. It can be pretty exhausting, but a great way to exercise your brain. And finally, taking it back to music, don't you dare underestimate the educational power of nursery rhymes. As an adult learning languages, it's easy to skip the basics and you end up not knowing things that a two-year-old would know. So listen to some nursery rhymes, lullabies, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and you'll be better off for it.